Paul, I uh, sense there's probably a lot of disappointment that the um, result you've got today doesn't match the performance uh, to one defeat at Brackley. No, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. I mean, we're a better team. For you know, we've gave them the first 15 minutes in terms of chance. In fact, we actually started quite well. We were moving the ball well. Um, a couple of misplaced passes or wrong decisions in the middle of the pitch have led to the first one giving a foul away, um, and then we've undone ourselves with the set piece. They've won the first header, the, the big centre half who's strong in the air, and but we've not we've not made a better effort of dealing with the, the header um, you know so two contacts they've had from a set piece was disappointing and then we get caught in the middle of the pitch for the second and then you're looking at it and you're thinking this could run away but it, I thought the way we responded to, to going two down um, was definitely definitely a, a, a big effort from the lads um, at times they couldn't handle us um, but ultimately it's both boxes and it's what goes on and it's and it's you know another another loss but you know one we've got to take the positives from because there was plenty of them yeah well I mean what was your thought coming into today I mean you, you've played Brendan Daniels in a slightly different role today in order to, to play Devon Green um, and that seemed to work that 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 did lead to you know a lot of the problems you said that we caused back in the second half well I mean obviously the pace, the pace that we've got up front now uh, and and pace that can hurt in Byron and in uh, Devon, and I just felt if we if we pull Brendan in one, you know, you get his quality on the ball to be able to make the passes that he makes. Plus, we've got two fullbacks who can bomb on now as well and, and provide quality. Um, so, you know, it was a tweak in the system. It's something I've been looking to try and do, um, and, I, and I felt it. I felt it worked really well. I felt that, like I say, at times. Well, for, for 60, 60 minutes with a better team there. Sure. I mean, it, it does feel t to me from you know the, the the way you're speaking here that you're you're happier in general with the constituent parts that you've got in the squad now that it's resembling more a Paul Carlton team. Is that where you yeah, think you are? Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, we. I, I said it to the lads on Thursday night about if we put this side together in May and June and we approach pre-season. Uh, with this squad to work on things to gel to get some understanding I'd be confident um, but we've obviously done it you know microwaved it if you like um, and we've had to do it in six seven weeks where we've built the side but it's it's looking like what we need and today was the start of a, a, a 10 game league if you like um, which albeit we haven't gone off on the right foot in terms of the results in terms of performance how we look and you know because we won't play we won't play against as, as strong sides like that every week um, you know I, I'm, I'm positive and I'm confident about uh, about what we're, what we're able to put out onto the pitch sure and, and in terms of you know you've added um, Rob Evans this week and, and Devon Green that we've mentioned um, I know your focus is very much on the here and now and, and, and the 10 games you know that, that, that remain in the season but it, is there some thought perhaps coming into next season as well as to who you might want around well that's up to lads to, to to get us above the line come the end of the season and to do everything they can and to and to be as prominent and to and to produce the form that that gets you deals and earns you contracts and get you get your clubs. Um, you know, everybody's in that situation. But obviously, you know, it, it is about the here and now, but at the same time you, you you don't want to be doing a full rebuild when I know these players that I'm bringing in now are good enough for the level. Sure. Um, and, and just a thought on, on Tuesday, it's AFC file away. Um, that's a game Liam Nolan can't take part in because I'm being his parent club. So I would imagine that Rob Evans would come into the equation for Tuesday. <coughs> yeah, that's right. Um, we we had an agreement. It's it's not it's not actually a uh, it's it's more a, a, a gentleman's agreement, um, and it's the right thing to do for both parts. Um, and yeah, Robbie will feature, Keats will feature. Um, we may we may alter it slightly again. Um, we've got a couple of knocks in there. We'll have to assess as well. So uh, so yeah, everybody, the squad is the squad is, is getting strong. It's getting Moody's close to returning, Theo's close to returning, which is positive because last week if you've seen Theo, he looked like a letter S. 
Um, so you know, it, it's getting it's getting stronger. It's getting to a point where you know we can we can make changes and we can we can put fresh legs in when when we need to. Okay, uh, thanks very much for your time, Paul. Commiserations on the result today, and we'll see you on Tuesday. Cheers, Justin. Thanks.